Welcome to the Rapscallions Podcast with Stephen, Nick, Dylan, Dustin, and Brandon. Welcome into the Rapscallions Podcast, and we are the Rapscallions. What's up, guys? How's it doing? Hi. How's it doing? That's a new one. How's it doing? <laughs> Where's it going? <laughs> Pretty eyes. Hey, can you stop whispering over there? Dylan always tries to do the ASMR shit. We're gonna have a we're gonna th- hey, baby. We're gonna put out a special episode of nothing but Dylan at ASMR. Oh, whispering oh, sweet yeah. nothings. Yeah. Do you like it when I do this, baby girl? <laughs> you can get that on our Patreon. I don't even I don't even know if we picked up that picked that up. Yeah. I didn't hear it. That was a talent. Alright. Yeah, okay. I'm not picking that up. Not hearing it? Nope, because you didn't say you didn't say anything. You just uh I heard it. Did you? Yeah. Oh. So um so. Look, so I was uh I have a long commute to work. So sometimes, you know, you get which is like an hour and like fifteen minutes. Sometimes you get bored. And uh, I was stuck in traffic like I usually am on the way home. Yeah, so like I was stopped. Traffic, traffic, looking for my chapstick. Yeah. There's yeah. a full Maverick. But All right, <laughs> so <laughs> anyway, so I was uh, bored. And so, you know, I saw in the in the middle console, my I had some like there's like dry erase markers, you know, from my from my daughter in there. And I picked one up and I was like I said I was bored and so the the 12 year old fucking boy came out to me and I drew a fucking dick on my uh in the middle of my console you know and I'm like and then but then immediately afterwards I was thinking to myself god damn just imagine if like somebody rear ends me right now and we get in this massive pile up and I'm stuck and I can't move anything I'm more worried about not getting injured in the in the wreck but what if the fucking EMTs or the see this, big see this big old dick that I just drew in the middle of the console, you know? Like, is that, that that's what came through my mind first? I was like, God, please don't let me get in a wreck. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, that's embarrassing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> hey, is that what it looks like? <laughs> it looks like there's a dick right there. Okay, it's exactly what it looks like. <laughs> but <laughs> I was just doodling. <laughs> yeah, isn't that that's pretty? Uh, first of all, you know, yeah. I drew, yeah, I drew it, and then second of all, the first mo- thing that comes to my mind is, guys, I hope <coughs> I don't get in a wreck, so nobody just sees that there's a massive schlong drew drone in drone drew d- drawn drawn, drawn. drawn. <laughs> English. So <laughs> words are hard. <laughs> you get <laughs> bored and you just start scribbling penises. Yeah, yeah, I find out I found that out about myself. You know, like I said, the, yeah. you know the twelve the twelve year old. Uh, the boy comes out every once in a while, you know. At least you weren't drawing swastikas. Somebody says the word fart and I you just f- laugh, you know. It's like, <laughs> okay. It's like you want to be a stand-up comedian for toddlers, man. You you kill it. You just say fart and butt the whole time and, you know, it's over. So you you were the guy with the <laughs> lunchbox at school full of dick scribbles? No. So, you know, it just goes to show. When you're sitting down in a public restroom and you see... Dicks or swastikas or, or like lightning bolts, funny things drawn on the side of the stall. The or N word, in. and then you got somebody okay. scribbling saying, <laughs> I'm fucking "You're a faggot." Yeah. Good lord. Anyway, and then you know, for a second, you're like, "Wow, real, real mature." But you know, deep down, you're just jealous. You don't have a sharpie or a knife in your pocket right now. Yeah. Oh, my favorites are the the. Call Ember for a good time. And then put some random number on there. Put some dude's number. Yeah. This isn't fucking Amber. <laughs> it's fucking Todd. God damn it. This is the fourth time this week. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't give good head. I, I don't give head at all. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, yes. Now today, you know what we're gonna do? 
a segment. We'll do some I prefer. I prefer. Which one do you prefer? I yep. prefer we or, don't do that. Or would you rather, but we, you know, you got we got to brand it like uh, the Rap Scallion, so we do I prefer. That's what we do. Is it? It is. So you got to stay true, true to that. When you're asking it, you can't say would you rather. No. You're right. That's a good point. Because you have done it before. <laughs> you sounded sarcastic there, so I had to bear f- or clarify that you have, in fact, done that before. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah. That, well, <laughs> see, it just, it, it I'll, I'll, I'll have to add to the end. We'll, we'll, figure, we'll, we'll, do, we'll workshop it, you know. Would you prefer? Yeah. Or I prefer, yeah, would you prefer? Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Quiet. <laughs> All right. Let's hit, it. hit. Let me hit the drop real quick. All right. So for the first, I see you looking. You looking at the answer? No, <laughs> no, no. There's no answer. <laughs> I don't have that good of eyes, man. <laughs> Are you fucking cheating, bro? Yeah. All right. The first one is, and I prefer, would you rather have the ability to see 10 minutes into the future or 150 years into the future? 10 minutes. 150 years? That What would that do me? That's unnecessary. <laughs> exactly. Well, so let's, okay. So... Let's talk about this, because, uh, yeah, if you look 10 minutes in the future, I feel like that's more logical to have, because you can actually make a diff. you know what I mean? You could actually change what's going to happen. In your own life. Yeah, well, yeah, in your own life. But, or, I mean, shit, you can even, 10 minutes is, damn, I wish it was longer, though, because 10 minutes, you can't do, you can't do the sports betting stuff. That wouldn't work. <laughs> but, you know, what you could do is go, when you go 150 years in the future... You can see I mean, it. if it's a quick fight, that is you, true. you can take things from it and <clears throat> yeah, you can come up with the idea. Of, you know what I mean? See, the Still way I see ideas. it, being able to see 10 minutes in the future helps your life. Being able to see the 150 years in the future, you can help the world. Help your kids' kids. Well, maybe, but if you can see 150 years in the future and it doesn't have a just being able to see it though i mean i guess how long i guess you can in this scenario you can see it as long as you you want you can just sit there and just watch something happen for as long or i guess i think we need to put a time limit on it right because you couldn't just lay in your room and look 150 years in the future as long as you want or can you because if that's the case then yeah you could help people like that or you know get ideas help humanity or get ideas from the future or at least at the very least so prevent stuff from happening what are you gonna look at for five minutes 150 years in the future well that's that's the thing well you can it'll just be strictly being able to see how it's going to be like i mean that's the only benefit right see how the world play out because i mean assuming you have let's just if you have like a five minute time limit I don't just see, I mean, and I guess it depends on if you can choose where you're looking or is it just random, you know? Tell me. I yeah, you just stare at the side of a mountain for five <laughs> minutes. Yeah. If there are mountains. <laughs> I, saw, I saw Sam Squatch. <laughs> a fucking Squatch. Yeah, if there are mountains. We'll just... What do you mean? Yeah, there would have to be a time on it because, or else you'd just be seen to the future, like all the time. Let's just know? say there wasn't a time. Let's just say, like just every ta- ten minutes, you get to see ten minutes into the future. What if we just take it at face value it's and like, you just get to see it for like, let's just say a minute, either way, and you don't get to choose. Well, I already got I already, what you I already see. Locked my my answer in. Ten minutes. Yeah. I'm just trying to help myself over here. I mean... Fuck the world. Yeah, but when you put time limits and shit like that on it, I don't know how much... It can straight... It can, it how much constant. good you can actually really do just by getting a glimpse of 150 years in the future. And if, you, and if you can't choose, 
Because, like, what if you can just... Like, how long, how, like, like, do you get to, like, actually, like... Well, we just said hypothetically off the number of five minutes. Okay. Yeah. You know what? I'm just, like, I'm just going to say 150 years just so I can see what it's like. Yo. That is what you choose, Dylan? Mm. Yes, indeed. But then you're just a crazy person because, like... It's all right, but they you, have to wait. Yeah. But you know the truth. In the future, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you can't. squirrels are getting You gotta cars. wear to drive you. Yeah, you gotta wear. You gotta wear a hood. You know, like an old ratty ass hood, because all like. And you gotta have a staff. Yeah, you you have to. You know. Yeah. And you have to be old. So even if you're not old, we'll do some. You gotta do. You gotta make yourself look older. You have to look wise. Mm. All right. So 150 wise. years. 150. What do you what What do you say, Brandon? I'll say 150 years. So at least you can. Mm. Okay. This is a pretty good one. Would you rather have telekinesis, which is the ability to move things with your mind, or telep- telepathy? Telepathy. T- telepathy telepathy <laughs> telepathy the ability telepathy. to read minds telepathy <laughs> telepathy telepathy <laughs> telepathy oh <laughs> uh, yeah yeah <laughs> telepathy yes oh, then Dil- Dustin immediately saying that messed me up too and yeah, I was I was uh all right, anyways, the ability to read minds. Would you rather read minds or move stuff with your mind? That's basically it. All right. I'd rather move stuff. Go on telekinesis. I'd rather read minds. Telekinesis. <laughs> telekinesis. 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 Uh... I think. What, what about you, Dustin? I'd say telekinesis. 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 All right. I think I would do telepathy. Yeah. <laughs> would would <laughs> would definitely do the telepathy. You really want to know can, what everybody's thinking all the though? time? Like that would be. That's the main question because if I had um, <laughs> telepathy. <laughs> telepathy. If I had telepathy, what the fuck is happening with you right now, bro? Telepathy. He's a home crack. Yeah. If I had stroking telepathy, out that that's the main question: is can you shut it off? So, because if think about it, if you can't shut it off, then you're you will hear people. Talking the, shit too. Think the worst shit too yeah. possible. Is I mean, because if they don't think anybody's, you're, you're not there to hear. You know who who knows? So you can you would hear, stop going to Walmart. So for you sure. can you can hear everybody talking That's shit. That's weirdo about central, man. Imagine yeah. you're meeting somebody new. You're shaking their hand. You know, you're like why? This and and guy you, looks you, like you a read their minds. Douche. Yeah, it's like my god, this guy's fucking ugly looking. <laughs> <laughs> fucking like how do you dude. you know? <laughs> Like what do you do? You because if you react, just, you're gonna look just like a, fuck up your whole day. Yeah. The fuck's wrong with his face? It, what the fuck you mean? I'm ugly. And the dude's like, <laughs> Why does his teeth look like that? It's a fucking witch. Yeah. See, so it's like uh, you, you, it puts you in a very I don't know. Be it on me, read minds. Or but you would never be lied to. That is you true. You would always know the truth. That is true, but I yeah, think that's not always a good thing. Yeah, and exactly because there are, you know, you want to be lied to sometimes, man. It's like trust me. I mean, your 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 wife asks you if she looks good in this dress, and you tell her, "Fuck no, you don't." Because first of all, I can see your fucking you know cellulite sticking out or something like that. <laughs> that's the that's <laughs> the type. <laughs> that's the that's the the scenario where you know. Oh, and the- it's good to it's good to be able to. To lie. To lie. You would yeah. hate for her <laughs> to be able to read your mind in that <laughs> scenario. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> It'd be killing a lot of relationships. So, anyways, the, the whole point yeah. of me using that example was because sometimes lying is not always that bad, I guess, you know. Uh, oh, yeah, I know. Uh, what if cops could read minds? You had anything to drink tonight? Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, God, I've actually had, like, fucking 18. <laughs> no, sir, I've only had one. <laughs> 18. Yeah, classic. <laughs> I've had one. <laughs> fucking domed a eight ball. Oh, God, please don't let him, please don't let him uh, so, smell so, the fucking, or see the cocaine in the in the not cup sure. holder yeah. yeah or in the cup holder oh what's in the cup holder <laughs> please don't have him sniff the cup holder <laughs> <laughs> don't let him know i ate that box of nerds out of that stripper's butthole yeah. all of a sudden he's <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh yeah so yeah so you know I think I would rather just be able to move things with my mind because I don't think I want that those problems. Well, that's just that's just okay. We're are we not saying that everybody's gonna have it. It's just gonna be just you. So that changes yeah, well, that's it. What, but that's my point though. But you could still, I mean, but you could still be able to, you know, know if people's talking shit about you. Not even that. Uh, it's just like you really want to know what know people are people thinking truly. all the time. Like you're just gonna be disgusted walking through. Or you're gonna be second Walmart. guessing everything. I feel like you'd be sh- you get shut it off. Or what if you got to do a certain, like, put your fingertips on both temples? <laughs> it has so to be it's real so- obvious that you're reading somebody's mind. <laughs> it has to be. Dude, that would have been even better. I wish that was. You're talking to I your wife. You just start you fucking. That <laughs> Stop, Stop doing my- that shit. <laughs> Stop reading my mind. <laughs> yeah. Don't do it. Oh. <laughs> Slowly load your hands back down. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So, uh, telepathy. 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 <laughs> telepathy. See, I keep on saying telepathy on purpose so much that I'm starting to just call it telepathy. <laughs> That's sad. All right. Uh, so, yeah, I'm, I'm picking telekinesis. Brandon picks telekinesis. Dustin? The other one. I forgot what the fucking other one Telep- was. Telepathy. 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 Tele- okay, let's just move on. <laughs> All right. Dylan. Read minds. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I do. I def. <laughs> I definitely do. Uh, telepathy. <laughs> okay. All right. So the next, I prefer question is. Which do you prefer? To give up heating and air conditioning for the rest of your life, or give up the internet for the rest of your life? Ooh. <laughs> That is a good one. That is a good one. That's the rest of your life. That okay. means you can never use the internet. Internet. Or never have you give up the internet? So mm-hmm. you can't do this podcast anymore. Why? <coughs> I can still internet, come in. Internet based. I can still come record it. No. Well, yeah. talk. You could record it. Where are you going to put it out at? You have no internet. You can't be on it, the internet. It doesn't mean y'all don't have internet. Does that mean you can't be on the internet whatsoever? No, there, there can't be le- means, loopholes like that. It means you can't use the internet. You can't take advantage of the internet in any way. Yeah, so, that so means you can't do the podcast. You can't. You can't. If you can't take advantage of the internet in well, any way. Well, that's, that's a little different because technically he's not the one that uploads it to the internet. Well, he's taking advantage. If we start getting paid for this, he's getting money that is from true. the internet. That is true. So well, I think my child needs heating and air more than <laughs> I need internet, so... Did the Indians go, need it? Though? I would go without internet. No, it's Native Americans. <laughs> <laughs> wow, yeah, you serious. come in here, you fucking bigot, with this fucking ignorant Sorry, shit. I was politically correct. All right, uh, but really, you can't have a world where both don't exist. Well, technically, but this is a hypothetical well, situation. Hold on, did you see for that petition um, by like some tribes calling for them to like return the name Redskins? I did see that actually. Yeah. yeah. No, they want the. Yeah, they want the. Yeah. Yeah, they, they don't want them to be the Washington football team again. Washington they want Commanders. The, they, they want them to be the Redskins again. Well, yeah. That, well, yeah. It was, yeah. I did hear about that. But let's get back to. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Go the, ahead. I was just the. Uh, okay. So the. Um, my bad, dude. Did I just totally? No, no. no fucking... What? I'm. Tr- I'm just trying to think. Uh, it's. It's. It, it's a hard question. I don't even know what I would. I would choose. Probably. I think. I guess. Considering my. My profession, my uh, you know day job and everything, I would have to say the 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 heating and air conditioning. Unfortunately, yeah, I would you say really... heating and air, but I would move the fuck out of Arkansas. Yeah, California, yeah. that shit here. No, I'll we'll go up north. Up north. Well, see, well here's the thing. Though. I'd be migrating like a bird. It says <laughs> you can I'd find go north for the summer and south for the winter. Hell yeah. 
it says heating and air conditioning, but that to me that, that implies that it's like central heating and air. So could you not? So if if there's no heating and air conditioning, <coughs> does that mean that you also couldn't like build a fire to get to get warm? Because that still is technically heating. But right, then, but you lose it in your vehicle and your house. Yes. So realistically, there'd be there'd be no escape from the heat. Is, you can warm yourself up. There's really not much you could do for the heat. Well, that's my point, though. Like, are we? I guess we would have to say yes. You can light a fire because you still have to be alive still. You can't get too yeah, cold and die. Cook. Well, not just you don't need fire for heat. You'll need it to cook. Cook. Yeah. So. Yeah. So I mean, yeah. So I guess you we can't just eliminate heat because you still have to live. So I mean, uh, fire. So I would say yeah. It's just central heating and air. So in a car or a house. Who needs the internet anyway? If you really think about it, like you can become very successful without the internet. Do you realize it's really, it's really it's hard? And, day and it's really hard nowadays, but it's like do you, you could do it. Everything is on the internet, and it's a much better life, you know, probably than just. Everything how you, how is you on gonna the become internet. famous for a podcast? Going old school though, but not everybody internet. else is gonna do the same thing, so it's gonna be really hard. But yeah, I can see. It'll yes, it'll be really hard because, like I said, the whole world is you can't. Internet is now I, like a utility that you have to have, like electric. But I guarantee, like, like in the in the forties and fifties when they didn't have the internet, I guarantee it was such a better time. You know? Oh no, that's not. Nobody's disputing that. Yeah, but that's like if you. Do, how do you know what you? In some you, ways, if if the yeah, but somebody who doesn't never has never had the internet, they don't know that they need the internet. But nowadays, I've never, I've never, I grew up in a world where I had the internet. You know. To be honest with you, so I never there was never a moment in my life where I didn't have internet. Internet, like Google yeah. at the tip of my fingertips. Hmm. So I can't. There, I didn't really have access to internet. I mean, besides school, when I was younger, I, I mean, I'm talking about like, like that till talk- I got into. Uh, I'm talking like about it was around. Grade. I'm talking about it was around though. Like yeah. you could get to it. But did you have? I didn't have it at the house. Okay, no. yeah. so then she said, I could do that personally. Like, like yeah, yeah, not that it wasn't a thing. Did, you, did it affect you personally? I had a phone, so no, yeah, I, I could get. I could do. The, I could. Yeah, so I'm gonna yeah, have to say. Off. Yeah, unfortunately, yeah, but internet on the phones back then, we didn't have fucking touch phones and shit. Yeah, yeah. what? Well, see, to me, it seems like it's a question of comfortability. Because I feel I don't know. I feel like internet is more essential nowadays. You know, because you can live, you can you can function and and without heating and air. Technically, well, they did for years before. Yeah, function, you know, purpose. that's true. Years. And it really was just because we were poor. We didn't have the we didn't have the money to get internet. Like, because we had, um, but we both had computers in our house. Yeah, we functioned. You know just what I mean? So we had internet. the ability to um, have it. It's just we didn't pay that monthly bill. <laughs> what? What would you say, Dylan? <laughs> you know so what I mean? Function so just... there was months that I had it, and then there was months that I didn't. Go ahead, Dylan. Sorry. Function just fine without internet. What? You would function just fine. So what? We function just fine oh, yeah, without yeah. internet. Yeah, but I'm just saying in today's now. So which one do you choose then? Internet. Okay. Me too. I think. I think. What are you? Wait. Like you can you're gonna live without air conditioning and heating. No. I'm oh. gonna Live without internet. You're gonna live without internet. Okay. I'm gonna live without heating and air conditioning. Same. Wow. I'll go off the grid with you, Dylan. Well, just think of this. Okay. Okay. We, yeah, off the grid. We've all answered it. Quote, yeah. unquote, you still got a cell phone with fucking internet access on it. Just like all these TikTokers well, who are off the grid. Guess so, what they still have? Internet. Yeah. So, so yeah, he, that's a loophole, right? He, what he just said. So, technically, you can't even have like a... Like a Smartphone, you could have. You have to go back to like a normal. You can have a smartphone. Flip. You can have a smartphone. You just can't use anything on it except call and text people and games and and games that aren't on the internet are online games. Which, which nowadays games? there's really Phones not that don't many. Phones don't come stock with games anymore. Yeah, mine did. That's exactly. why you. So how? So you would only have those games because you won't be able to download anymore because you can't use the internet. That's cool. Okay. If you did this, you'd have to go back old school and well, just go straight think back about to this. Okay, now, both, now, I got now board just, games. We've all answered. It's all done. But now I'm just trying to talk Dylan out of his answer because think about this. You would, when you're here at your house, when yeah. you're at your house, uh-huh. you won't be able to watch TV or 
do anything. I mean, I guess you could play your Xbox as long as you weren't playing an online game. So is that cool with you that you'd just be Xbox is the only form of entertainment? If I'm sitting here in my cool house, I'll be all right with it. Okay. All right. You can play an offline game. You wouldn't be able to watch movies on it because you got to download a media player. Yep. But you see, I got a shit ton of DVDs. You'd be a lot more productive you in have other a DVD player? other ways. And Xbox plays DVD. But well, you, you would have had to download that media player at some point. So if you lived without internet, you would have never had that option. Therefore, you couldn't play movies on it. Exactly. You'd have you to go got to the point. I'd borrow my roommates. You, oh, okay. Well, DVD there you go. player. So you're cheating. How's that cheating? No, he, he is, if he gets access to a DVD player, then... If you're problems. going off the grid, you got to go off the grid completely, bro. You can't be... We're not, go, we're not talking about going off the grid. We're talking about not using the internet. Yeah. <laughs> so, Four all right. Games. Well, Speaking I, of that... I tried, but I got I failed. The, marijuana. Po- the point I just made, that's another thing. Is it like... Is your life erased from the shit you've acquired because of the internet? Oh, so like everything you've done, or is it just you no longer from this point on no longer have access? I think it's so from everything this point just on. evaporates. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. I think it's from this point on because it's like oh yeah, all this shit you ordered off Amazon, poof, gone. <laughs> yeah, like they know snap. <laughs> yeah. Well, I yeah. Have it. But you'd be productive in other ways though. Like if you didn't have to, if you weren't like wasting your time watching movies and everything like that, and like playing video games, you'd be very productive in other ways. So, all right. So, nah, you picked the best. Around I'm leaving weed. it. I'm leaving yeah. it. Dylan don't play video games, and he's still highly unproductive. <laughs> 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 All right, let's. So, I'm leaving it up That's to you guys. Five. I'm leaving it up to you guys. Do you guys want to do one more, or go on to Dylan's rando? I think we do one more. Okay. All right. Would you rather fuck a sheep? No, I'm just kidding. Fuck would you sheep. rather fuck your brother or your sister? <laughs> That's a rough <laughs> would you rather. Is it? Yeah. Yeah, it is. All right. Let's see here. Would you prefer to fornicate? Okay. Um, <laughs> Are we really going to have this discussion? Would, would you? you hmm. No. <laughs> Definitely not. Would you rather be castrated? Or marry your third cousin. Marry my third cousin. C. All of the above. <laughs> yeah. uh, just quick answer. Okay. <laughs> All right, here you go. Would you rather never be able to go out during the day or never be able to go out at night? So you're either a vampire, I guess... Or uh, a regular person, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> or a non-vampire. <laughs> I'd rather not be able to go out during the day. I'm more active at night. Okay. So that means... But think about all the implications of that. I'll be working a night job. Well, yeah, but none of the, most stores are not open at night. Do you ever have... A problem you can't go in anywhere and talk to somebody about it. It's okay. I'll be a creature of the night. Having no problems. I'll be a creature of the night. I think you almost, I don't know, you almost have to, like on a, uh, um, what, what's the word I'm looking for? Like a logical, like most reasonable decision would be not go out at nighttime. Because you, there's just a lot of stuff that, uh, why, why is that so funny? You just like, I feel like you just like low key shit did, all over you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So if you're not a complete fucking moron, <laughs> the obvious choice. My, my bad. I mean, you know, to you e- fucking nicely diss me <laughs> to each of their own. But, uh, I'm just saying personally, like you, you couldn't really live an actual life. If you can only go out at night, I'm just thinking about it, you know. Oh, you that could. was an elegant ass Logically. diss, dude. Dustin liked it. <laughs> well, I mean, so yeah, so I would say you can't go out at. I would pick the daytime. I can't go out at night. Go ahead, Dustin. Let's see what your answer is. That's just because you're scared of the dark, Stephen. And you stink like a fart. 
So you got him. You pick. You pick <laughs> day. Dark. You're a day walker. Huh? Day walker, day walker or night walker? What'd you pick? Day. I would rather not be able to go out at night. Is my and it's answer. like right when it like it just, like dark, right? Yes. Yeah. Night. Yeah, that's what. Well, it's like you could put is. you could put like a cap on it, like when it starts, like when the lights come on. You know, no, it's like dark at dark when the sun goes down. And when the sun comes up, you gotta go the fuck back inside. Okay. If you pick night, like Dylan, I'm crazy. <laughs> He's a crazy boy. <laughs> you haven't picked, you know, Brandon. Yeah, you gotta go, go off no, his, we're... whatever Brandon picks, I'm gonna no. pick. You. Everybody's uh, waiting on you. Yep. Shit, because I like doing a lot of shit at night. Like crimes. Like, nightlife is, like is where crying. it's at. Yeah. Nightlife is where it's at. Well, it, okay. So what if I put the I put the restriction that you are one hundred percent on your own. Okay, you can't say nightlife is where it's at when your nightlife you don't have one. Is just sitting there <laughs> watching fucking He's like, yeah, Joe I know Rogan. What you're saying, <laughs> I just help him help him out a little bit, yeah. you know what I mean? Hey, think about this though. Do it before you can do it. <laughs> Are you sure? Just back to Dylan for a second. Uh, yeah. I mean, As a person with a child, yeah. You really think the best option is to only go out at night? Oh yeah. For sure. I wouldn't have to take him to no yeah, doctor. I'm day <laughs> <laughs> at this point. At this okay. Point. That didn't go the way I expected <laughs> yeah. it to. Honestly, I don't so like. Fuck yeah. I don't have to do none of that parenting shit. <laughs> <laughs> that was a fucking 180. <laughs> no, okay. I'll, I'll pick Dave then. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to go I'm gonna go walker because I'm really not a night owl anyway. Besides just like going out and doing like shit, you know? <laughs> You know, Ted's <laughs> talking about how nightlife is where it's at. This is, this is a tough decision. I really love that nightlife. But you know what? I'm not a night person anyway. I'm not really. I'm not really a night person. <laughs> not like that. Not to where I want to. I can only go out at night. Like I'm really. I like days because fucking the sun's where it's at, man. Get that fucking vitamin C. And humans are humans are also <laughs> diurnal too. Vitamin C. <laughs> you mean D? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that. that's what, that's what <laughs> I meant. Yeah, especially since the species we are, you know, we're meant to be awake during the day and asleep at night. So that would be kind of hard on your uh, internal clock, you know. Just to put that cherry on top, too. Yeah. I just like to look into your soul, Dustin. When I, <laughs> I like just to start mouth breathing, looking at you, like I'm just looking through you. <laughs> All right, so okay, so that that th- th- that concludes the segment, ladies and gentlemen. Are you ready for your your segment, Dylan? Let's go. Dylan's rando, bring on those facts. Okay, you guys ready? You interested? Dustin? Yes. We'll I, find out. Eyes on me. Yes, Poppy. <laughs> See, Poppy. I fucking love it. My ear holes are ready. To be fucked. Are your other okay. holes ready? <laughs> <laughs> Always. Not yet, but you can get them there, baby. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Oh, oh be <laughs> All right, go, Dylan. Okay, what's the first fact, Dylan? We're all waiting with Bestow anticipation. Bestow some knowledge upon us. Okay. Um, so, Northern America. Okay, North America. And, okay. North. We're here. Yes. We're America. America. <laughs> yes. No, the Northern. Yes. The, the most, Northern. Most Northern of the two Americas. Yes. <laughs> true, true. Okay. Well, there's a country, United States. That's in North America. And yeah. There's a country in the Name United Canada. States. <laughs> okay, wait, wait, okay. We're, wait, what? Okay, <laughs> just say the... Let's go, Dylan. <laughs> okay. But the Great Lakes, right? Mm-hmm. Pretty pretty big lakes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, those are my facts. <laughs> they're, they're great and grand. 
You, just, you should just end it how Brennan said, and this would be great. Okay, go ahead. All right, my next fact is... <laughs> <laughs> they're pretty big. You know the lakes in, in North America, in the United States? Yeah, they're they're big. All right, next fact Some would is, say huge. The Great Lakes. Oh, yeah, the Great Lakes. Okay. Well, the Great Lakes okay, hold more than 20% of the world's fresh water. More than twenty percent of the world's fresh water. Yeah. Damn, are they? I didn't realize they're. Yeah, that fuck damn off, big. world. Because there's twenty four thousand cubic miles of surface fresh water on Earth. The Great Lakes hold over fifty four hundred cubic miles of water. Wow, I didn't. I honestly didn't realize. I knew they were big, but I didn't know they were that damn big. Crazy. I, you know, speaking of the Great Lakes, have you seen those videos of like Lake Michigan and shit, where like. It looks like an ocean. Well, yeah, well that, but also like when it gets cold, like the waves will come up and hit the rocks, and then they'll freeze instantly. No, I haven't. That seems badass. Though. I saw, yeah, I saw like a, a video. I don't know if it was like some Sub Zero type shit. I don't know if that's like a normal thing, but it was one winter. I I saw the video, but yeah, it's another just little fun fact. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. Next fact, Dylan. Okay, uh, so there's, uh, that was a long pause. Okay. The lake, the only lake that is all, all uh, why the fuck, man? Sorry. Okay. You don't do this Wait much, huh? Talking? No, I don't. I don't do it often. Nobody talks to me. Uh, lake Michigan is the only lake that's entirely in the United States. And. The rest are in, a little bit in Canada. Yeah. yeah. And. In Lake Michigan, they have the Lake Michigan Triangle. Like Hmm. a mini Bermuda Bermuda Triangle? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Don't they have the Alaskan Triangle too? Dozens of planes and stuff have went down. There's a commercial uh, flight that went down and they never found the wreckage. Hmm commercial flight so that, that that means there was probably there was hundreds of people or over a hundred people mm-hmm. so uh, I would imagine interesting didn't they get a fucking bull shark out of one of the great lakes yeah That's it swam up the I could <clears throat> believe it did, no wait wait Swim up the Mississippi through a bunch of connecting yeah rivers yeah. yeah Mississippi don't connect to the I Great know lakes. but not directly no. but I'm sure it does indirectly somehow veer off in other rivers yeah all rivers lead to the ocean bro yeah but they don't all lead I don't to know the Great if that's lakes. true <laughs> <laughs> everybody knows because. <laughs> Say something that's not yeah. true whatsoever and yeah. make it all seem like it's a fact. Yeah, bro. Every, all rivers lead to the ocean. Everybody knows that. Goddamn. <laughs> they might. I don't fucking know. No, that's not true. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure. No, it's Colorado. Colorado. I don't think so. In your mom's asshole. I mean, yeah, some river, Mississippi. It's fun to say, river. though. Colorado. I don't think it's true. <sighs> that's a good question. Hmm. That'd be good. You'll have to ask Dr. Google. Did you know? Doctor. In 1921, Lake Michigan, there was a ship called the Rosabella, or Rosabelle. Yeah, Rosabelle. Well, it was found overturned in Lake Michigan, and uh, it was flown upside down. But uh, all of its 11 crew members were just missing, disappeared. In this? Never to be seen again. So this was a plane that disappeared in the Lake Michigan Triangle? No, it was a ship. Oh, it was a ship. I thought it was... Oh, okay. Gotcha. Yeah, the ship didn't disappear. The crew members did. Yeah. And it was found floating upside down. Oh, uh, capsized. So it was like... go. So I wonder... So <clears throat> you get some big-ass swells in that fucking lake. Well, yeah. exactly. And, and I wonder if... Because, you know, there is a theory for the Bermuda Triangle... Which I know this is the ocean, but if the lakes, the Great Lakes are this big, then I don't see any reason why they wouldn't have this phenomenon. But basically, rogue waves. They said that, that 
scientists have already said that like in at any given time there's at least like six rogue waves in that happens at you know like per every like three seconds or something but nobody's around to you know see it obviously because it's in the ocean which a rogue wave is generally just a a a random wave that's usually massive like a hundred hundreds of feet high you know in the middle of the ocean so a a running theory is that that's the 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 exact you know location of the Bermuda triangle is very high for yeah, rogue waves. Rogue waves happen all around the world, but for some reason they're specifically more prone in the Bermuda Triangle area. So, where waters are some roughly, reason, uh, the commercial planes and shit that went down were just flying really low for some fucking reason. Yeah, I don't explain like shit. I, I don't really explain what happens to the planes though. Yeah, you I got mean, a point. Yeah, exactly. That's a, it's just a theory, you know. I, it, yeah, I don't know. That's a it's it's a. Because they did studies, it does mess with like every like. But all also, the there is a s- go well. There's yeah. there's a section of the Bermuda Triangle where it's where true north meets magnetic north. They're like at the same, they're the, they're the same angle, and that's what they they theorize that that could be what causes um the compass mishaps and all yeah, that stuff. Yeah, like just spinning. Because true north and magnetic north meet up in that area, in that specific part of the world. Same thing happens at in Lake Michigan. Oh, really? It messes with the compasses. Oh, well, okay. That also <clears throat> happens in Alaska, the Alaskan Triangle. Which so. you would think, so that so that theory for the Bermuda Triangle couldn't be true for Lake Michigan because those are to- two totally different geographical locations. So, And right around... Interesting. In the Bermuda Triangle, they found a... Uh, like a sort of Stonehenge, like a mini Stonehenge underneath Lake Michigan, about forty feet below the surface. Mm. So they don't know. There's a theory well, I'm sure that, that, was that a, has something to do there with was, it. I'm sure there was a point in history where the water wasn't there. You know, yeah, about ten thousand years ago. Yeah, is when the like Great Lakes were formed. Oh, okay. Did you guys see that pyramid in Alaska? Right. Was in Alaska? There was one discovered in Alaska. Yeah. Isn't that fucking weird? There's been weird? pyramids discovered There's, all over the yeah, world. Yeah, I was about to say that. There's across pyramid. the United States, mm-hmm. too. Didn't they just find some in the Amazon rainforest? A while back, they found a whole ancient... But they well, said it was like the same design. They found a civilization. Like a whole city buried in the jungle. Mm-hmm. Well, there's a... I mean... The Mayans were in the Amazon, you know? And, uh... I mean, they, they, it's been, they've had pyramids, there's pyramids there right now, you know what I mean? Like, it's an actual known location where people go and visit. I don't think the Mayans were down that far south. Maybe the Aztecs? No, I think it was the Incas down Incas. There. Yeah, yeah, maybe it's Incas, yeah, one of those, I don't know, but what's Probably the... Probably Aztec or Incas. What's that famous, uh, pyramid in Mexico that, uh, Machu Picchu? Yeah, Machu Picchu. What, is, what, what, was that Incas? What civilization That's, was that? That was, was Incan. Mayan. Incan? That was Incan, Was yeah. it Mayan? Incan. I'm sure that was mine. Are you sure? Incan? Okay. Aztec and, and, no, and Spaniards in, is what makes uh, Mexican, right? Span, like Spanish. like Machu Picchu is in. the natives. Yeah. So like the Aztecs and then the Spaniards. And Spanish, yeah. Spaniards made Mex- what we know as Mexicans. Yeah. I guess. Uh, Machu Picchu is in Peru. It's not Machu. Yeah, that's not Machu Picchu. Is not uh, the one I was talking about. It was. It's in Mexico, and it's. Yeah, it's in Mexico <coughs> City, the big one. Yeah, yeah, but I don't know which civilization. But, but yeah, have you guys seen those like, those holes in Mexico? Those water holes. Have you guys cenotes? Yeah. Have you Have you been to one? Because I know you went to Mexico. I don't know if you. Yeah, I've I've been to one. Uh, They're pretty cool. Have you swam in one? Because they said that, like you can jump into them no, and stuff because, sometimes. See, when we went to go to it, the Google Photos did not live up to reality. Live up to the hype, huh? Because the one we went to was kind of in the heart of the city there in Cancun. And it was... It's probably a dump. It, it was a dump. It was heavily littered. Yeah. Literal shit everywhere. Like the people in this, the town use it. Kind of like, is there like... Right, well, it's in the center of a big uh, public park there. Oh, okay, so yeah. yeah. But in the pictures, it showed it, it really nice, pristine. Yeah. And well, I mean, I feel like that's 
they do that everywhere. You know, yeah. they, they, they always make it, it look like a little at- oasis. So we mm-hmm. went to check it out because it was the closest one, and we're heavily disappointed and didn't get a chance to make it to another one. Man, I want to go and do that, but I heard it's pretty. We opted for the ruins instead. Bro, you know what's insane about Machu Picchu? Uh, it was uh, designed because it's an Incan. It was an Incan civilization. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So and it's designed. <laughs> it was designed. He lost his thought. <laughs> well, they didn't use any like what do you call it? Like uh, I guess uh, mortar or whatever. Uh huh. It was all they cut the stones so precise that they fit together so perfectly. You know, they didn't have to use any. Yeah, just yeah, like binder. all the rest of the pyramids. Yeah, yeah. and it was uh, built on a. There's two fault lines underneath it, so it's frequent earthquakes, and it, they did it that way too. That way, when the ground moves, the stones can move. And, you know, move with, with it. it. Yeah. Hmm. So it's basically it was like earthquake proof. Crazy. That's why it's still standing. It's hard. It's hard to say that everybody had the same, like, because they're all built the same way. So they all had the same thought, pretty much, to like build all their pyramids the same way, with like kind of the same design to everyone. Because you have to be like mathematical when you're building those things. It isn't easy. You know what I mean? You got to have a mathematician on site, you know, to cut the stones and shit and put them perfectly. Really, it's not easy. <laughs> I thought we could have gone out and done it. Yeah, so it's it's kind of weird how it's like it's, they show up in Alaska, then they show up like in Africa, yeah, and shit like that, all over the world. Yeah, because it all used to be connected, man. You don't know about Pangea. When they start showing up in the Arctic, though, you know what I mean? It's kind of. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, you know what? We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna wrap it up here. Wrap up the old episode. All right, guys, if you guys liked that episode, go support the Patreon. It's only $2. You get exclusive content and much more. If you're watching this on YouTube, like and subscribe. Hit that notification button so you're notified every time we release a new episode. We're on all platforms. So go support the team. Help us out. Get us going up. TikTok, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook. Oh, yeah, all that good stuff. Like. All right. Subscribe. Help that algorithm. Peace. Remember, wrap it before you tap it. And don't be a hoe and leave five stars. Thank you for listening to the Ramscallions podcast. 